Hello, it's Seta here. In this video, I will show you how to set up the night lighting in the Unity. Of course, it's up to you what the final effect you want to achieve, whether of the night should be dark or the player should only feel the night time and see all the details on the terrain normally. So, let's get started. During the night, the only natural source of the light is the moon. However, only during the full moon it reflects enough light to gently illuminate the area. The further down the horizon the moon is, the bigger it appears, and the shadows are deep and dark. Sometimes there is a fog that scatters the moon's rays, making the further surroundings appear brighter. The basic colors during the night are dark blue, black, and shades of grey. When there is a clear sky, the stars should be visible even during a full moon. In reality, at night we see white light and shades of grey, while in the games shades of blue are often used. And now let's move to the Unity and create night lighting. Ok, so we have this tutorial scene. First we must add some lighting, so right click light, directional light, and some global volume. Right click, volume, global volume. Let's create new, add override, visual environment, and select all. Sky type will be physically based sky, and ambient mode dynamic. Let's add another override, add override, sky, physically based sky, and select all. Let's set this ground tint to white. Now let's move to the directional light and set up position of our moon. First we must change this emission filter to white and then select this icon and select moon. Let's go back to the global volume, add override, exposure, select all and set them to 1. Add another override, post processing, bloom, select all and let's increase this intensity just a little bit. Ok, let's go back to the directional light. First we must increase this shape of our moon. Increase this flare size. And increase this flare follow. To more than 100. Ok, next we need to add some surface texture. So. I have prepared this texture of the moon and assign it here. Next, we must increase this temperature and in the intensity multiplier, let's increase this value. Let's enable shadow map and select high. Now we must add some stars to our sky, so let's move to the global volume. And in the space emission texture we need to assign our stars map. But first we must click on the texture and select texture shape to cube. And go back to the global volume, apply. And now we can assign this texture here and increase this multiply of our texture to stars be more visible. Now let's add some volumetric fog and clouds to the scene. Add override, fog, all, enable. And let's decrease this value. 
of course select volumetric fog and in this base high let's increase this just a little and maximum high let's increase this more okay now let's go back to the directional light and here let's increase this multiplier and let's decrease the shadow dimmer okay go back to the global volume add override sky volumetric clouds we need to enable this volumetric clouds so edit project settings HDRP and select global illumination volumetric clouds screen space reflection transparent and in the HDRP global settings lightning transparency let's select all enable custom and we need to increase this multiplier cloud thickness will be 5000 and i don't want to the wind affect this cloud so i select custom and set this global horizontal wind to zero now we must add another override lightning screen space global illumination enable and lightning screen space reflection all okay let's add another override shadows micro shadows let's enable it and change the opacity to 0.5 let's add another override shadows contact shadows let's enable it let's decrease this opacity to 0.3 and in the directional light let's set this contact shadow to enable let's move back to the global volume and add another override lightning indirect lightning controller and let's increase this value just a little like this now we must add a reflection probe so right click lightning reflection probe let's set them to something around two meters above the ground select influence volume let's increase this box size to 200 in all direction and select baked and now we must increase this multiplier to 2 let's go back to the global volume and add override post processing shadow midtone highlights let's increase this shadow value just a little and give him a little blue tint add another override post processing color adjustment post exposure and you can here increase this exposure of the scene and 
add another override, Phosphor Sync, White Balance. And here you can change the white balance of the scene to more blue or more white. It all depends on what final effect you want to get. And of course in the, in the directional light you can change this intensity multiplier to get a little brighter or little darker the scene. This is the last episode of this series, in which I showed you how to get lightning during dawn, day, evening and night. So if you haven't seen the previous video, I highly recommend watch them. Let me know in the comments below whether to continue this type of tutorial and if so, what would you like to find in them. Take care and until next time, see ya!